Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, it's George Levy. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the Coinbase. Many people are confused sometimes when they hear the term Coinbase and they think, well, what is the Coinbase? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video what Coinbase is, how Coinbase is used, because it's not the same usage depending on which situation you're dealing with. So I'm going to tell you exactly the history of what Coinbase is, how it fits into Bitcoin, and it will all be crystal clear when we finish this video. Let's do this. Okay, to begin this video, I want to actually point out that there is a site called Coinbase.com. If you go to Coinbase.com, Coinbase.com is actually one of the most popular and best known cryptocurrency exchanges where you can actually get an account and you can buy some Bitcoins, sell some Bitcoins, you can trade your Bitcoin, they even have a wallet. It's a very valuable site called Coinbase.com. But Coinbase is not exclusively their name. The Coinbase is a very specific feature in Bitcoin, and this is why the company is called Coinbase. Coinbase is where every single Bitcoin is actually created. Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. And I'm going to do that by actually taking you to blockchain.com. Blockchain.com, it's also another thing that many people say, well, what is blockchain? Well, blockchain.com is a... It began originally as a cryptocurrency wallet, and uh, now they've expanded where you can actually buy, sell uh, cryptocurrencies. They are actually now going to be offering NFTs, but they're also very well known for having an explorer. A block explorer is a platform or a tool that will actually look at a blockchain and look at what's contained inside. The blockchain block explorer is very, very valuable, and uh, the way you do it is you go to blockchain.com. You go to the tab to Explorer, and you'll be taken to Explorer. Now, what you'll notice is they have multiple different explorers. They have an explorer for Bitcoin, an explorer for Ethereum, an explorer for Bitcoin Cash. In this case, I'm going to focus on Bitcoin because I want to talk about the Coinbase transaction in Bitcoin. Okay, when you go to the Block Explorer on blockchain.com, what you will find is there's a lot of information. And this is as of the moment that I'm recording this video with you. So what you'll see is that they are tracking the price that uh, Bitcoin is actually being traded at in their exchange. And uh, you see also how the price has been performing. But one thing you'll see clearly is they have a list of all the blocks. The, the highest number you find is the latest block on the Bitcoin blockchain because the blockchain is built of blocks that are chronologically ordered and every block is built after another block and they have numerically all the way back to block zero which is the Genesis block, the first block that was ever created in Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm going to get back to the point. I want to tell you about the Coinbase transaction. To really understand what the Coinbase transaction is, you need to understand that every single Bitcoin that's ever created is actually created through a process called mining. So when you hear about Bitcoin mining, what you're talking about is miners that are building blocks and adding them to the blockchain. And for doing that test, they are incentivized and receive a reward in bitcoins so what that means is that if you are a bitcoin miner you receive rewards for creating the blocks and the way you receive that reward is through a transaction called the coinbase transaction let me show you the coinbase transaction right now and for that i'm going to go to the latest block right now on the blockchain so what you see here in this example is that this is block number 728,090. That's as of the time that I am recording this lesson with you. You will see the timestamp for that. It's actually happening on March 19th of 2022. Now, interesting things you need to know. All this information is available on the Block Explorer. You've got the hash for this transaction. You can see exactly what the uh, timestamp is of when was this block created. You can see the miner that actually created this. It's actually via BTC, it's a mining pool via BTC mined this specific block and for that block they receive a reward. Notice the block reward as of the time of this specific lesson is 6.25 new Bitcoins. What that means is that every time a new block is created the miner that creates that transaction sorry that uh, block of transactions receives a reward of new Bitcoins. There are 6.25 new Bitcoins which that miner is rewarded with whenever they create a new block. But additionally, they also receive all the transaction fees for every transaction that's included in that block. So if we look at this block right now, what you'll find is that this specific uh, block right here, this specific block right here, as you will see, has 0 0.00111074 Bitcoins in rewards for actually being able to, uh, to have these transactions that are included in this block. So this entire block and all the transactions that it included gave this miner not only 6.25 new Bitcoins, but also they received 0 0.00111074 Bitcoins, which consisted of transaction fees they, they, they received from all the transactions they included in that block. So let me take you to the next version. 
when you look through the block, every single block on the Bitcoin blockchain always has as its first transaction, it has a Coinbase transaction. Notice the Coinbase transaction is newly generated coins and those newly generated coins were 6.25 Bitcoins. But if you'll notice, there's not just 6.25 Bitcoins, there's 6.25111074 Bitcoins in this transaction that the miner wrote to themselves. So you see, it consists of 6.25 new, new Bitcoins plus 0 0.00111074. And when you add these two together, you receive 6.25111074 Bitcoins. That's what this miner receives as a reward for actually being able to add uh, this block of transactions to the blockchain. So key point I want to point out to you when we talk about what is the Coinbase. Coinbase can mean two things. Coinbase can mean the exchange that I spoke to you about, coinbase.com, which has a cryptocurrency exchange. They have a wallet. It's a place where you can buy and sell Bitcoins, or it can mean the Coinbase transaction, which is the first transaction in every single block within the Bitcoin blockchain. And that's your lesson for today. Coinbase, what it means. And realize that every single Bitcoin that will ever go through your hands or go through anybody's hands began in a Coinbase transaction at some point on the Bitcoin blockchain. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.